So joining us now with tips to organize declutter kids spaces, Cassandra Arson. She's a professional organizer, author behind the brand Clutterbug, also the host of Hot Mess House on HGTV. <laughs> How dare you call my house a hot mess? Cass, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, okay, this is big, right? Talk about your approach to organizing because you don't think it's actually, which many would think, a one-size-fits-all approach. Yeah, it definitely isn't. There are four different styles to organize. And I think if you've tried and failed to stay tidy in the past, you're probably just using a system that isn't made for you. It basically comes down to how you sort your things and how you store your things. Are you a really visual person or do you prefer things hidden? And do you like a lot of details? Are you a bit mm. of a perfectionist or do you need more a laid back approach to organization? Mm. So it really kind of fits your personality. What are you? Um, yeah, what are you? Cause I can see you. behind you, you it Betty. looks like you, oh me? I like to hide things. I just <laughs> I just want it out of sight. I want cleanliness. I want organization. I don't want to deal with the mess because I have two kids and all I see all the time uh, is a mess. So let's talk about kids when it comes to organizing. What kind of category can we put them in and, and how do you balance that with what the kids want and what the parents need? Yeah, so I've, I've, I mean, I've given them all the cute little names and children are what I call a butterfly. So they're really, really visual. So the opposite of you, they want to see their stuff, mm. but they need very laid back approaches to mm. organization. They don't do details. They need fast, easy, broad categories, which is the exact opposite of traditional organization, yeah. which is why I think they get messy. They feel messy and we're like, clean your room. But what does that mean? And it definitely doesn't look like you probably organized, right. which it sounds like you might be a cricket. So the, the number one thing I recommend is ditch the dresser. Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Where do you yeah, a dresser is, in? Yeah, okay. So a dresser is a hidden organizing system uh -huh. and you have to fold, you have to be detailed to keep it up. So True. I recommend a cube shelving like behind me, I'm in my daughter's room uh -huh. with big bins on the bottom so they can toss their clothes away, but they still have storage that's really visual up top for all of the things they love to display. Kids love to have their things out so it can still be out, but not a pile on the floor. You're taking uh, advantage of the vertical space. I see. Okay. okay. So here's the thing. How do you keep it looking like that, right? Because it's like, it seems like it could be all organized and nice. And then within three seconds, exactly. everything's on the floor. A tornado and then, comes through. Right. And then you got to put it back. So how do you keep it the way it, what's your suggestion there? Well, definitely less is more. Kids get overwhelmed by clutter too. And if it takes them more than five minutes to put away, you're not using the right system. It's not visual enough. Or it's not big enough categories where they can toss things away, but they probably also have too much stuff. Too many stuffed animals, just too much clutter. Uh -huh. You can do toy rotation, packing up half of it and bringing it out maybe once a month. So it's like Christmas morning, they get new toys or you can just let go and donate to other children oh, who have mm -hmm. less. Yeah. With less stuff is less to manage, right. not just for you as a parent, but for your kids too. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so you also have a show called Hot Mess House Love on it. HDTV. Um, talk to us a little bit about the show and that experience for you. Yeah, it's a dream come true. It's a dream I didn't even know that I have. So I'm a recovering super slob. I lived my whole life feeling like I was messy and lazy until I discovered that I just organized differently. And now on the show, I get to help other people who are struggling. They feel like a hot mess, uh -huh. discover that they're not messy. We, we completely declutter and reorganize their space. And we have Wendell build some pretty mm -hmm. awesome custom yeah. storage for them too. I, I love that. I need that. Um, but here's the thing, if we have a second, to, <clears throat> how do you organize, like, you, everybody's got these stacks of papers in their home. Like, I find it, and, like, my friends and I, we're all talking about this, like, what do you do with your stacks of paper that, like, you're like, oh, it's just, and then it, you, I'll just keep, keep shoving right, it into a drawer. You just pile it on top of each until other. Until you can't fit any more in that drawer. What is your recommendation? I mean, a filing cabinet's so ugly. Like, what's your recommendation here? But that's the thing. I mean, first of all, Piling is not filing and horizontal is hidden when it comes to paper, right? The stuff on the bottom is invisible. So vi vertical is visual when it comes to paper, but not everybody can do a filing cabinet. I am not a detailed person. I have a basket. It's bills 2021. I've paid them. I chuck them in the basket mm. and I deal with it at tax time. And that's okay. I think that's the whole point. We have to give ourselves some grace and let go of the idea of perfection because Paperwork is not worth our time or effort. No, mm -hmm. it's not a basket. 
Baskets, Baskets are everywhere. Mm -hmm. That is the thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I do, though, with receipts and stuff? I just put them in a Ziploc bag and put 2021 on it. And where do you put that bag? In a drawer. <laughs> right. And, 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 I hide it yeah, somewhere. You get a lot of, open that drawer, it's gonna, you're going to get attacked <laughs> by Ziploc bags. Bag. Right. <laughs> I know where it is. <laughs> All right, Cassandra. See, this is why I'm not the expert and she is. All right, Cassandra. That's because you're a cricket. You are such a detailed person. I am, right? <laughs> uh, I what am I called? The screen. A, a cricket? cricket. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm a Tasmanian devil. Cassandra, thank you so much. Good to see thank you. Thank you so much. You All too. Right.